Hey everyone, Ken Whiting here with Paddle TV and this week we're talking about gear that you should splurge on this holiday season if you're a paddler. Maybe not all of it, but maybe one or two. Before we get into it though, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, hit the notification bell so you get notified uh, whenever a video goes live. Also check out the Paddle Tales series. There's a link in the description box down below. Paddle Tales is a series that goes on incredible paddling adventures to some of the best paddling destinations in the world. First things first. This sucker here is the NRS River Wing. Now, what it really is, is a glorified uh, tarp for camping. And if you like doing river trips, multi-day river trips, whether it's raft trips, sea kayaking trips, canoe trips, then, and you have the room to take uh, a luxurious river tarp, this thing is money. It comes with, you can either bring this or not. If you're, you can use paddles or, you know, or uh, fallen branches as posts or it comes with super lightweight posts uh, in the package. But the amazing, it's just so well thought out. The ends of the tarp, it's actually, um, I, think, I believe it's six sided when it's put up. Uh, I should know that because I put it up so many times. <laughs> anyway, the each connection point is fully reinforced with the grommet. It's not pulling out. You can pull this thing super tight and it's rock solid. It comes with the integrated tie down um, and a nice long rope to tie to trees, to stake out, uh, whatever. Um, and I just love it. It has its own pouch. It also if you're rafting and you're bringing oars or even for branches that you find it you can it i don't know if you can see that but it's it's designed so that the handle of the oar can be stick in there and hold a corner up there's just a lot of very intelligent design features in this thing so when you know, on a, on a trip we just did recently on the Petawawa River, we were going down the river, all of a sudden we got, we saw this thunderstorm come in and we got crushed by the thunderstorm. Right before it hit, we hopped out, pulled this out of one of our bags and had it up and in a couple of minutes and four of us were, or five of us, were just as comfortable and happy as can be while the, this, the storm raged around us. You know, uh, a good tarp, if, uh, if you can afford the weight, depends on the type of trip you're doing, this thing is awesome. It's a treat. Um, the next thing is a carbon shafted paddle. Now this paddle, this is the whiskey fiberglass. This is a four piece. And the reason it's called uh, the uh, whiskey fiberglass is because the blades are actually fiberglass um, but the shaft itself is carbon and the ferrule here is super rock solid uh, it just doesn't have any play this is a four-piece paddle so the, pa the blades come off as well which makes it awesome for traveling if you're flying with your paddle which i often do then having a four-piece paddle is fantastic uh, if not, you might as well go with a two-piece paddle instead of a four-piece paddle. But a carbon shaft, shafted paddle like this, I mean, you pay for it. You pay for that luxury, but so much lighter than typical paddles. It's stiffer, which means every stroke you get is more efficient. Uh, it just feels great in the hands. You know, it's a luxury. Absolutely. Do you need it? No. Any paddle that gets you moving, gets your boat moving is great. But if, if you are going to splurge on something this holiday season, a carbon paddle like this sucker is well worth it. Now, another item. This is a VHF radio. This isn't just any VHF radio. This is a floating VHF radio. Now VHF radios are great for almost any type of trip where you're communicating with other people in your group. 
uh, even when you're on white water, the sound of the rapids doesn't allow you to communicate very well at all. Sea kayaking, you definitely need to have a VHF radio. Uh, VHF radios, in many cases, they're a necessity, not just a, a luxury. Um, a floating VHF radio is just insurance. You don't have to worry about fumbling it, dropping it in the water and losing not only a bunch of money, but your insurance policy <laughs> when you're on the water. Uh, it, they're also, well, one of the things that makes this thing floating is the fact that it's so light. And having uh, uh, your radio be light, so when it's in your dry bag, when it's on your boat, when it's just around, it's just a lot nicer to deal with a light radio that you don't have to worry about sinking to the bottom of the ocean. I hope they can come up with a floating action camera soon. Speaking of action cameras, that is the next item, and I don't have it to show you. The DJI Pocket 2 is the other piece of gear that you should really, as a paddler, consider splurging on. And not just as a paddler, or rather, rather than as a paddler, as an outdoors-loving person. We use in our productions all sorts of different cameras and we've got toys camera toys of all shapes and sizes the G dji pocket 2 just came out and i haven't even tried it there's one en route to me right now uh, i can't wait to get it so i i'm telling you that this is something to splurge on this holiday season and i haven't even tried it yet but i'm i'm uh, dji dji stuff has always been so great for us. Um, I've enjoyed using those their gear and so I expect the same thing from this camera. What's so cool about it is it's this tiny little camera that it has is on its own gimbal pro that provides incredible um, uh, video quality, great audio options, all sorts of cool features like active track which which will track the person. It will automatically follow the person that you're following. And if you've never used a camera on a gimbal, that's the real game changer here. It's not the first camera on a gimbal, but it's such a small little compact package. And the camera being on the gimbal, the gimbal means that no matter how much you move your hand, the camera stays stable. It provides, you know, professional quality video. So if you're, you're uh, you know, just capturing those moments around camp, capturing those moments with your family, uh, with your buddies, whatever, all of a sudden you're just, this little sucker lets you capture it in, an, in a, just a much better quality way. Speaking of quality, the final item that you should consider splurging on this holiday season is a real splurge. I mean, this this is gonna take some heavy breathing, <laughs> some sweaty palms to, uh, to pull the trigger on. But having just done a five-day canoe trip in Clarney Provincial Park, we used some really, really nice Kevlar canoes and we did some big portages. And I can tell you that if you plan on doing, or if you're doing canoe tripping um, more than, you know, if you're doing it once a year on a regular basis, invest in a quality Kevlar canoe. Having, not only does the, like a paddle, not only does a Kevlar canoe just feel fantastic to use. It's just, it's a different experience than a heavy, clunky, traditional canoe. But when you get to the portage trails, oh my gosh, what a game changer. It, it's night and day portaging, carrying those, those boats. Uh, and when you do the math, yeah, they're expensive. They're very expensive. But when you do the math and re, you, you take into account that these are lifelong purchases, purchases, like a good canoe, if you take care of it, that should last a lifetime. Then you're not talking about thousands of dollars, you're talking about, you know, hundreds of dollars a year for that experience. And uh, that's a whole lot easier to stomach. 
and it's the holidays. <laughs> and all these items, you know, I picked them not so much for um, ideas to give to other people. These are ideas for ways to splurge and treat yourself <laughs> because it's a weird year and uh, we all deserve a treat. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any ideas for things to uh, that we could all splurge on <laughs> this holiday season, don't be shy, leave it in the comments below and we'll see you again soon for lots more tips, tricks and paddle tails episodes.